Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. Welcome back to Local Lao Wai, the show that gives you everything you need to know for a smooth transition to life in China. I'm Donnie Newman. Last time, we showed you how to make your way to your private banquet room, make a great impression on your host, and find your correct seat around the banquet table. But it's at the table where the contest begins in earnest, and there are still plenty of rules to this game that we need to know. For the sake of clarity, we're going to separate these rules into two different categories, food and drinks. And today, we're going to focus on food. You may think that eating would be the easiest part about attending a banquet. And for the veteran, eating can be, and usually is, a very enjoyable experience. But for the banquet rookie, there's a whole plethora of unspoken rules that you need to know about. And here are the most important. At the very beginning of dinner, the host will take up his menu, look around at his guests, and say, Or, what do you want to eat? I would really like some General Tso's chicken. It may sound like the host is asking for suggestions here, but in actuality, he already has every single dish of the dinner planned out beforehand. Mm. The best option for Teddy here is to defer to the host. Perfect phrases to use here? Uh, I can eat onions. Um, 葱, if you have food allergies or other dietary restrictions, now at the beginning of dinner is the best time to mention it. Otherwise, it's a good idea to keep your food preferences to yourself. If you're vegetarian, don't worry. The average Chinese banquet will have a few dishes that you can eat. Vegetable, okay? Uh, okay. Once food is brought to the table, the host is the first person to pick up his chopsticks and grab something from each dish, politely offering it to the main guest, who is seated to his right. Once the host takes food from a given dish, that plate then becomes fair game for the whole party. Since food at Chinese banquets is eaten communally, feel free to use your own chopsticks to grab food from the dishes on the Lazy Susan. However, some particularly slippery dishes like tofu or noodles may come with their own communal use spoon called gong xiao. In that case, use the spoon or gong xiao to usher food from the plate to your own dish. Remember, that spoon doesn't touch your own mouth. Before you take a spin, take a look around and see if anyone's about to grab something. Chinese hosts are especially keen on sharing exotic local delicacies with their foreign guests. These foods can range from the vaguely familiar to the downright alien. No matter how weird a dish is, do your best to give it a try. Remember, the weirder the dish, the more points you score for your team by eating. At the very least, accept it onto your plate and pretend to give it a nibble or two. If anybody asks, it's delicious. Mmm, Jenhao Chura. As dinner's progressing, avoid having an empty plate or putting your chopsticks down for an extended oh. time. By staying engaged in eating, you can avoid giving the host the impression that you're not satisfied with the dishes he's ordered, in which case he might try to order something else, just for you. If this happens, your team loses points. Remember, empty plates equals more food. If the food's gone, the host will order more. As the meal's winding down, the host will once again try to elicit food orders from those at the table. Uh, uh, I'd like some ice cream. As you might be able to guess, don't take the bait. This is, however, a great time to express how full you are from all the delicious food that was so graciously presented in front of you. Uh, 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 
吃饱了，撑死了。So there you have it. If you remember these easy rules for eating at a Chinese banquet, you'll be well on your way to becoming a banquet master. Think you can do that, Teddy? Yeah. But before you hop into battle, there's one more topic we need to discuss: the key, if you will, to Chinese banquet victory or defeat, and it comes in liquid form. We'll hand over the keys to victory on the next local Lao Wai. I'm Donnie Newman. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to email me your questions and check out our website for all kinds of great Chinese language tips. Bring your shot glass for the next episode when we get down to the nitty gritty of just how Chinese banquet battles are won or lost. We'll show you how to hang with the banquet veterans on the next local Lao Wai.